get your part 107 certificate. Q intro. <laughs> So part of my business ventures or my new business ventures is I want to get into drone flying. I want to be able to take video imagery from a different location or for different aspects. So I figured drone, I'm seeing a lot of drone footage and stuff. And what I like to do is I want to incorporate that into my business as well as my videography and my photo shoots. So after a little, after a lot of research, um, I didn't go to a high end drone. I kind of went down the middle. Uh, went with a Mavic Three Pro that has three cameras, forty five minute battery life, four K sixty frames per second. Uh, so far, from what I know, new being new to flying drones, I absolutely love this thing. It is already been fun to fly. Um, I did put the guards on to protect who, you know, because I do shoot around models. So I put the guards up just as an added protection. In other words, this folds up into a very nice, small, compact um, um, drone, but uh, love it. Absolutely love it. The Maverick 3 Pro. Anyway, so as I was getting into drone flying, I started to realize that you need a lot of, uh, there's a lot of rules out there. And I wasn't really aware of the rules. I kind of knew some of the rules. I knew that you need to be, you know, uh, you need to know your environment around you and where to fly, what that and whatnot. But I didn't know you actually need to be certified to fly um, commercially as one and, um, you know, and, and fly in different areas and how to do it and what to do and all that. So I just started doing some research and I came across a uh, Pilot Institute. And uh, I first took a couple of their little free programs just to kind of get to know them a little. They had one that I really loved. It was called Drone Maneuvers Mastery, which basically I'm still in the middle of it. They take you to some complex maneuvers. I just look at a few, go out there and fly them and check off that I got completed or whatever. They also had a very nice uh, instructional video on, on the Maverick 3 Pro, went through that. And then I was like, okay, it's time to take the dive. So I signed up for their part 107 made easy. Let me tell you, I, what a great program. Absolutely fabulous job. Uh, just the community itself and, and, and the way they teach you and, and the instructor. It was like I walked in to get my part 107 certificate. I walked in to the airport here in St. Augustine is where I took my test. I walked in. I walked in with confidence. It wasn't whether I was going to pass or not pass. I walked in with the idea of what kind of score can I achieve? And I end up walking out of there, passing, of course, with a 92. And I was pleased with the 92. Did I want 100? Yeah, I want 100. Um, but 92, I was very pleased. Only missed five questions. And, you know, the test as normal, if you guys, if any of y'all took any type of cert cert certification test, whatever, there were still some tricky questions in there, make you think or whatever. But I walked out of there completely happy. What a great job. I am so glad I went with Pilot Institute. And I highly recommend if you're interested in getting your part 107 cert cert certificate, I'll say, God, boy, that stuff. If you're you're ready to get that and, and fly your drones commercially, definitely go with them. I highly suggest it. 
Um, they and they do everything. When you do your Part One Hundred Seven Made Easy, they tell you how to register your drone. Got my drone registered. Uh, the you got registered drone. See, they teach you everything too, so you understand when you go into this that there's a recreational part of it where you register your drone. If your drone weighs 250 grams or less, you don't have to register it when you fly recreationally. Um, but if it weighs more, and this, and this uh, Mavic 3 does weigh more, you have to register. Now, initially, while I was taking the test, I registered it as a recreational flyer. It, it, that way I could practice my maneuvers while I was taking, taking my test. And then once you finish it and get certified and you want to do this commercially, you have to re-register it as a commercial um, drone, which I just, just now did. If by following the instructions based on Pilot Institute. So, so I got that registered today. Uh, and also, they teach you how to sign up for the test. They teach you what to expect from the test. They teach you when you're done with the test. They tell you what's next. They do not just, they, they're so good at just walking you through the entire process from beginning to end. And and uh, I highly, I would go with them again for anything else. They got a bunch of other training programs on there and I'm ready. I'm going to go with them again. But anyways, thought I'd bring that up with you guys. Very happy with them. I will continue to promote them, use them on other, other um, areas of training. But uh, Pilot Institute, if, you, uh, if you're interested, link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's new. It's learning a lot. Watching myself grow. Hopefully you guys are following me and watching me grow as well. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.